So I think the first um, thing to point out is that Q1 hasn't been you know, a fantastic uh, quarter for M&A compared to last year. Um, yeah, and, and that's actually been the case across Europe. So you know, the Nordic region isn't immune to the general decline in M&A activity that we've seen across, across Europe. I think there was a double digit declines in you know, both numbers of deals um, and also deal values in terms of percentage double digit declines. So that's the historical view if you like looking backwards. If you look forward, the picture is slightly different. Um, Intralinx, as you know, publishes quarterly uh, deal flow indicator, which actually is a leading indicator view of future M&A activity. And the reason it's a leading indicator is that typically the deals that come onto our platform, and we do about 5,000 M&A deals a year, so we have a very good view of global M&A flows. The deals that come onto the Intralinx platform are all early stage M&A deals or deals entering due diligence. And those deals typically will be on Intralinx between six and nine months before the deal is announced. So we, as I said, that, that, that gives us a very, very unique, very good view into future levels of announced M&A activity, yeah, potential announced M&A activity. And if we look at the Nordics and, 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 and Europe, for example, um, our deal flow indicator says that in Q1 of this year, um, there was a roughly 25% increase year on year in, in, in the numbers of early stage M&A deals that we're seeing on our, on our platform compared to last year. So that gives us some sort of um, reason to be optimistic for, uh, you know, announce them there if you like you know over the next six to six six, six, six six to nine months yeah so if we look at the sectors that, that we're seeing quite a bit of activity in at the moment I mean on, on on the inbound side um, sectors such as industrials healthcare high tech materials um, consumer products and services that, that you know those seem to be the sectors that are um, most active on the inbound side at the moment. On the outbound side, um, again, industrials and healthcare feature, telecoms also, as well as real estate. There's been you know, a very big deal, real estate deal done by the Norwegian government uh, into the US in uh, Q1, and also energy and power as well feature. We've, we've noticed a trend, um, particularly over the last sort of year or so, um, of um, deals uh, being taking longer in due diligence than, than they did previously. So previously, we, we, we could say on average that the average time that a deal spent on the Intralinks platform was about six months, and that's now lengthened to about eight months or almost nine months. So buyers are taking longer in due diligence, and you know part of the reason for that is there's less froth, if you like, in the market. There's less pressure, less competition. I think buyers are also being more cautious about um, you know the companies that they're buying. They're taking longer to look into the into those companies, doing more thorough due diligence. Um, that is definitely a trend that we're seeing. And actually, we're, um, interest, interestingly enough, we've just um, about to finish a, uh, a research report which we've done with Cass Business School, which looked at what are the effects on acquirers of um, doing due diligence of varying, uh, of varying lengths. And actually, what, 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 what Cass found was a very, very strong um, correlation between acquirer returns, or total, total shareholder returns for acquirers, and length of time spent doing due diligence. Basically what that means is that the, the acquirers that did longer due diligence had much better um, shareholder returns, to, total shareholder returns, than those that did shorter due diligence. So what that means is that you know, being thorough and in investigating the, the, the target that you're buying actually does pay off if you're an acquirer. Now that, that, that's a fact that was generally sort of just, 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 just a given, if you like, but no one's ever proved it, and this research actually proves that that's actually a statistic, you know, it's, it's a very strong, significant statistical fact, so that's quite interesting.